jailed for 17 years. Two of Cassius Povey's victims have told this programme how they were targeted when they were only 14. Povey was arrested after he made a public apology when one of them outed him on Facebook. Tonight, Meg Foley's waived her right to anonymity to warn people how Povey preyed on her vulnerability. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. All of the stars. An entertainer who loved being life and soul of the party, this is Cassius Povey performing for a charity fundraiser. But Povey was a paedophile who ruined countless lives. Meg was still at school when Povey persuaded her to perform sexual acts online after grooming her for months on end. He was very charismatic. He literally just added me on Facebook one day. He just added me on Facebook and he started a conversation and he made out that he thought I was like 19 or 20. I blatantly wasn't. I was, you know, I was 12. I was being bullied in school and he would make you feel you were special. He made me feel like I had friends. He introduced me to all these different people that were way older than me. Like, I felt cool, you know? He knew what he was doing. He knew exactly how to manipulate people. He knew how to make people like him. Other girls were raped by Povey after he befriended them at Leicester's Clock Tower, a meeting place for teenagers who he took under his wing, among them this woman who we're calling Kate. He made himself like an idol at Clock Tower. It's him, it's Cassius Povey, like, oh my God, Cassius is here, everyone stop what you're doing. Found out everything about me first, and then when I was at my most vulnerable and I needed him, he then used that against me. Kate felt vulnerable because she'd split up with her boyfriend. Povey spiked her drink, she says, then raped her at his flat. Now it's kind of messed me up for life because now I'm sitting here with severe depression, PTSD, I haven't been able to get a job or have a stable relationship. Like I'm a walking, talking nightmare, really. Povey raped three of his other victims before their 16th birthdays too. Today, he's received a 17-year jail sentence for a string of sex offences against nine different teenagers. It's as serious as it gets. He began to um, separate them from their parents by saying, you know, parents don't understand you, I know what it's like. And so he began that um, case of manipulation against each of the girls in turn um, until they firmly believed that he was their friend uh, and that he loved them. The police arrested Povey after he posted this public apology owning up to abusing what he described as a long list of females. It was a response to Meg who revealed what he'd done to her in a Facebook post. The thing that bothers me the most about this is not so much what he did, but how accepting his friends were, you know, of his actions. None of them said a word. People knew who he was and people knew what he did. Nobody said anything. This wasn't something that was a secret. Why did you decide to out him? Because he deserved it. Somebody needed to say something because, God forbid, you know, if he'd have carried on doing this for, what, 10 more years, there would have been so many more people. But Povey said his apology wasn't an admission of sex offending, so most of his victims still had to go through the ordeal of a trial. Today, finally, justice. I've won. I've won. So my calendar is Freedom Day, because <laughs> it's just a day that, like, it's all put to bed. He's the only man to ever scare me, like, ever, ever, because he's clever. Take a good hard look. The judge said Povey was a predator who showed no remorse, and the police believe there'll be more victims who still haven't come forward. Well, Jeremy's with us now. I mean, this is a truly horrendous case. What else happened in court today? Strong words from Judge Brown uh, at the sentencing in Leicester today, Sarah. He said Povey was a serial sex offender who took advantage of his position as a prominent musician in Leicester for seven years. A lot of these victims were plied with drink and drugs, he said. He gave Povey a string of long sentences. Four of those sentences were for 17 years and they're going to be served concurrently. I think one of the things, especially as a parent, that is so shocking is just how he groomed these teenage girls and just made it seem so normal. Yeah, I mean, so many teenagers meet up at places like Leicester's Clock Tower, don't they? Or the Market yeah. Square in Nottingham, for instance. And I think the th what strikes you is how this grooming was going on in plain sight. And the police were saying to me, look, this is a real, there's a real message to parents here about trying to talk to your teenagers just to understand who the people they regard as friends